Welcome to the, the next lesson on the Traditional Warriors online course. Here we're going to look at stances. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the very simple karate stances. So we've just done a video on yoi. So now we're going to get into the actual stances you'll use during movement. So from here, the first one is going to be Zenkutsudachi. It's a front leaning stance. So from here, you're going to put one foot forwards. Predominantly, you'll put your left leg forwards generally um, in your training. But it doesn't matter whether it is a Hidari stance, which is left, or a Migi stance, which is right. As long as you're following the same things as me, I'm not too worried about which foot is forwards at the moment. So as we can see here, let me start with my left leg forwards. You're going to have be leaning forwards, so it's a front leaning stance. You're going to have your knee, so it's just above your, sorry, so it's in line with your heel. Okay, I'll show you this in a, slight, in a different angle in a second. Your toes again are going to be pointing forwards. Back foot, toes are pointing forwards. So we've got about 70% of our weight on our front leg and 30% of weight on our back leg. We're leaning ever so slightly forwards into it. So my front knee's bent, my back leg's straight. Let's look at it from the side. So from here, I'll step into my position. As you can see here, my back leg's pretty much straight. Front knee is bent. I like to have my knee above my heel, okay? Some people would go knee uh, past the heel and be more in line with the toes. For me, I don't like that as much because here, when you've got your knee over your heel, it gives you that room to then move in. So if we're gonna do a strike here, we can just shift our weight forwards here. So, and then we're not also, we're not knee shearing, which isn't a good thing to do for your knees. If I do it on the other side here, so my knee is following the way my toes are going, okay? We'll come onto that in a second. So knees and toes point forwards, back foot, Try and get it not too much pointing to the side. Try and get it as forwards as you can here, and leaning forwards. My body's not leaning, my legs are leaning, okay? My torso is drawn in. My hips are underneath my body here. So they're underneath my rib cage and shoulders. They're not pushed out here, where my shoulders are ahead of my hips here, or the other way where my hips are behind, sorry, where my shoulders are behind my hips. So we're here in line. Got a slight draw in. Try and make sure your waistline isn't pointing down to the ground at an angle here. We want it pointing forwards. So we want to make sure we've done a slight little tuck of the hips, lengthen stomach line here. And that's your Zen Kutz actually. That's your front leaning stance. So I said about the knee a minute ago. So if I come a bit closer here, you'll see sometimes what will happen is people will drop that knee in here, there. That's one of the most common things you'll do. So we'll have something like knee dropping in, foot pointing out, and we'll have this really wonky position. That's no good at all. We wanna make sure the toes pointing forwards and the knees pointing forwards, not the knee going off here. So where, if you're finding that's tricky, look to roll the femur, the bone between your hip and your knee, roll it out. Don't move the whole leg here, just roll out that femur here and have some tension there. You'll also find this thing gives you an arch in your foot here. So if I'm like this, you can see the inside of my foot is predominantly pressing on the ground. There, if I roll it out here, we can get that nice arch there. But my weight is not going to the outside edge like that, so my foot lifts up. But the weight is towards the outside edge of the foot, but the whole foot is connected to the floor. I'm looking for that weight towards my fourth and fifth metatarsal on the outside edge of my foot here. Leaning forwards, there. Okay. Now, in Zenkut Stachi, you'll mainly do Gi Dan Brai. So from here, Gi Dan Brai is, think same arm, same leg forwards, take it just off of your knee, make a fist, other hand on your hip here. And that's our Zenkut Stachi Gi Dan Brai here. Okay. Try and keep the hips square, shoulders square, everything pointing forwards. It's called a front stance. So make everything going forwards. Everything here going forwards. So all we're gonna do from here is go to Yoi, okay, which we did in the last video. So from here, you're now just gonna step forwards doing Zen Kutsudachi. So step forwards, Zen Kutsudachi. Good, and come back to Yoi, and come back on the other side now, stepping forwards with the other leg, Zen Kutsudachi Yudin Brai. And come back, come forward, Zen Kutsudachi Yudin Brai. And come back, and Zen Kutsudachi Yudin Brai. And come back. Ensure you're lifting your arm completely up towards your ear here. So as I come in, don't spring it up to your shoulder or cross your belly. Bring it right up to your head here and step forwards. 
Your other hand is going to reciprocate that by pulling back. So my hands are out, my arms come up here, I pull my other hand back to my hip here. Okay, so focusing on this one there. So I come forwards here, through, Zen Kut Statue. Don't put it on the back of your hip here, or on the palm, or like a teapot, like that. You want to make sure your inside of your fist is touching the outside of your hip or your belt if you have your gi on. So here, so like this. Okay, without pulling the shoulder back too much, it's just naturally back in a nice position. It's not rolling forwards, it's not pulling back, it's just here. So now let's try those step forwards again, making sure our arm goes up to our ear and pulling our hand back to our hip. So Zen Kutsudachi, front knee stance with a Gidan Brai, lower sweeping block. Hitch, come back to Yoi, knee, Yoi, San, Yoi, Shi. Yoi. Now, in between, without me saying yoi, we're going to go back and forth. Okay, so it goes into Zen Kutsu Dachi Gidan Brai, then step back to yoi. Itch. Knee. Remember to alternate each time. San. Shi. Go. And rock. And come back. So this time what we do is we're going to jump our stance. So we're going to have Zen Kutsu Dachi Gidan Brai. And from here, each time we count, we're going to jump our legs round and strike down with that Gidan Brai, making sure the hand goes right up over the head, sorry, right up to the ear, next, um, right next to your ear, over your other arm, not underneath, here, over your other arm, and block down, here, through, okay? So from here, to count, itch, knee, san, shi, go, Rock. Again, we're trying to make sure our knees and toes are pointing forwards, our shoulders are pointing forwards, our hips are pointing forwards. Front lean stance, everything goes forwards. So make sure your knees and toes are staying forwards, they're not dropping out, because that's a really easy thing to do. We don't want any surfing, we want to make sure everyone's pointing forwards here. Okay, so we're going to go a bit fast this time. Itch, knee, sun, she, go, rock, sitch, Ash, Ke, and Je. And go back to Yoi. Great work. If you're keeping up, doing a really good job. So now what we're going to do from there is we are going to move forward in Zen Kutsudachi. So from here, I'm not too worried about your arms. Focus on your legs first. So as I step forwards from here, step forwards in that Zen Kutsudachi, making sure everything is pointing forwards. Take your time, have a little look. Is the front knee pointing forwards? Is it dropping in? Okay. Is your front foot rolling in? Because we want the weight towards the fourth and fifth metatarsal out towards the edge of the toe here. And come forward again. It's. So don't worry about your arms at the moment. Now we're going to go backwards. Itch. Knee. So from here, lots of styles will come in and circle. Personally, I like to go straight forwards here. So rather than coming in, out, here, like that. It's a good way to keep your height. But here, I'm just going to take this foot straight forwards. Take this foot straight forwards. And now I'm going to go back, take it straight back. I'm going to go back, take it straight back here. I'll go back to Yoi. So from there, I'll step forwards with my Zen Kutsudachi. Imagine you're drawing a straight line or even put your belt down here and trace the line of your belt with your foot. Hover your foot over that belt. So I can forward, itch, knee, come back, itch, knee. I'll come back to Yoi. So now from here, we're going to move on to the next block, uh, so the next stance. So if you, if white belts, Zen Kutsu Dachi is your main one, but another stance you'll use is Jai Dachi, which is a very similar position to Zen Kutsu Dachi, just slightly different. So Jai Dachi means fighting stance. So from here, what I'll do, to go from my Zen Kutsu Dachi to my Jai Dachi, I will bend the back knee, which will mean I put half the weight on each leg rather than having most of the weight on the front leg. I'll go to putting 50-50. And instead of having my arms down here in this guard, I'll have my arms up here. Making sure I can see over the top of my hands here and making sure they're not too wide here, but they're also not right in line here. And there's a bit of a guard. So they're pretty much like in line with each other or next to each other here, there. So 
my left leg is forwards, so my left arm is forwards. My right leg is back, so my right hand is further back than my left hand. When I change my stance, my arms will change too, when I change my stance. So if we look at that from the side on position, here I am in Zen Kutsachi Gidon Brai, front knee stance. I'm gonna bend my back knee. I'm gonna bring my weight from my front leg, uh, being like most of it on my front leg to being 50-50, so half and half. And I'm gonna bring my guard up to Jai Dachi here, fighting stance. So now I've got my left leg forwards, so my left arm is forwards here. Don't worry too much about your left and right. Just go with your front leg needs to have the same arm forward. So don't have opposites here. Have them the same there. So you can see there, this leg's out and this arm's up with it. This leg's back, so this one's back. So here, I'm in Zen Kutz actually. So instead of me leaning forwards here, I'm just going back to that 50-50 here. Jai Dachi. So the three things you do which change your stance from Zen Kutz Dachi to Jai Dachi is take your weight to being 50-50, bend the back knee, bring your guard up. So we're gonna do what we did a minute ago. So we're in Yoi, we're just gonna step forwards into Jai Dachi, so step forwards, itch. So here, make sure knees and toes are pointing forwards again for me. Come back to Yoi. Knee. And come back to Yoi. San. Come back to Yoi. Shi. Come back to Yoi. Go. Back to Yoi. And rock. So again, making sure knees and toes are pointing in the same direction as each other, and they're predominantly pointing forwards. The back foot might slip around a bit, but make sure it doesn't go completely to the side. 45 degrees off the body line is fine, but generally looking forward. And your knees point the way your toes are going. So if my toes here are pointing out to 45, my knee's gonna point ever so slightly out to 45. Let's keep everything nicely in the line. But my upper body and shoulders and hips are all gonna be pointing forwards. So now what we do is we're gonna try and jump that stance. So we're gonna be in our Jai Dachi. So to each count, all we do is we're gonna jump, change our arms round as our legs change round. Okay, ready to do it in count. Itch. Knee. San. Shi. Go. Rock. Sitch. And ash. And try to make sure you land 50-50 of your legs each time. So you're not leaning more one way than the other. Okay, let's do that a little bit quicker. Itch. Knee. San. Shi. Go. Rock. Sitch. And ash. Very good, so this time, from there, we're just gonna jump that stance a little bit quicker. You ready? Itch, knee, san, shi, go, rock. Very good. So now I'm putting more weight onto the front of my feet. So more towards the front of my toes here, but not right on my toes, where the main part of the foot is. Like I say in class, you're looking for that outside edge, that fourth to fifth metatarsal. That's the main part around here that you wanna make sure the weight is going towards, okay? So, we're now gonna move that Jai Dachi forward. So step forwards into your Jai Dachi, and come forwards, itch, changing those arms, and forwards once more, knee, and now going backwards, itch, knee, taking those legs straight back. When you're moving, try and keep the same height. Try not to come up and down, up and down. And that goes for all of your stances. So when I'm here, try and keep the same height, itch, knee, and back, itch, Knee, forward, itch, knee, backward, itch, and knee, and go to yoi. So now, for most beginners, that will be the first two stances you really need to know. So, to finish off part one, we're just gonna go through the stances that we've already done. So step forward, zen, cut, section, right. Cool. So from there, step back to yoi, and step forward again, knee, and back to yoi, on to the other side. San, back to yoi, shi, back to yoi, Go, back to yoi, rock, back to yoi, sitch, back to yoi, ash, back to yoi, curve, back to yoi, jerk. And go back to yoi. So now we're going to join dachi, same thing. Join dachi, front stand, sitch, come back to yoi, knee, and san, shi, just make sure you're changing the arms around you do it. Go, rock, sitch, Ash, curve, and jerk. Good, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump past that. So we're gonna do Zen, right? 
I'm going to jump past that. Remember, take this hand up to that head as we block down. You ready? So count to 10. Itch, knee, sand, chi, go, rock, sitch, ash, ker, and ju. Good. So now we do the same giant that chi. Go on up. Itch, change his arms around as you do it. Knee, sand, weight on the balls of the feet. Chi, go, rock, sitch, ash, ker, and ju. And now we're going to move forwards with them. So then, put section right. Itch, knee, and backwards. Itch, knee, forwards. Itch, knee, backwards. Itch, knee, and forwards. Itch, and knee, and backwards. Itch, knee. Now come to giant dash. So bend both knees. Back leg bend, front leg bend, 50-50 way. So forwards. Itch, knee, backwards. Itch. Knee, forwards, itch, knee, backwards, itch, knee, forwards, itch, knee, and backwards, itch, knee. And get a yoink. And that completes part one of our stances. Hands both sides, feet together. Three, very good session. I'd say that's the best one for uh, beginners and white belts. Um, have a go at part two and see how you get on, but it is something more complicated because it is the higher level stances and for the advanced students more. But have a go, you've got the time to do it. Take, it, take yourself through it nice and steady and enjoy. Thank you very much.